Good, good, good. Another one. It's excellent. Oh, oh, oh. oh. You okay? Yeah. Hoping this would happen. That you'd walk? No, that we find ourselves right here. Sorry. Pretty classy, huh? Beers out of a bag. Cheap plastic patio furniture. <laughs> Look, I'm of the people too, dude. Just like you. I'm getting that. I'll have you know that there was a time not too long ago when I was best known for closing down roadies. Mm -hmm. No wonder we get along. Mm-hmm. We both know how to get down and get dirty, right? I know a little rain bothers you. Kind of brings out my uh, animal instincts. Looks like clear skies tonight. Aw, oh, too bad. right. She's not listening. What? Who are you talking to, Jessica? Hey, where you been all these years, Rex? While your girlfriend here, the mother of your child, was trying to support herself and your kid as a waitress. It's not his fault. Yeah, it is. So I'm gonna make it up to her, to both of them. So I would appreciate it if you would do the right thing, Brody, and back off. You ever wonder why she didn't come looking for you? Why she didn't hire a PI? You wouldn't have been that hard to find. Probably wouldn't have taken more than a few phone calls. But she didn't make them. Why is that? You think maybe she didn't want to find you? That's not how it was, and you know it. You know, when I first met her, I asked her about the father of her child. She told me she was glad you were gone. She didn't want you raising her kid. Dad, you okay? You hit my dad. He's not your dad. Oh my god. Dad, are you okay? Shane, li listen to me. No, the I'll never listen to you again. Mom, do something. Kick him out of here. Dad, did he hurt you? No, I'm fine. Just because your life is a mess doesn't mean you get to come in here and screw up mine. That's the last thing that I want. Nobody to do wants you here. Shane. You may not have a dad, but I do. <laughs> you come home. <laughs> yeah, I just got back from Medora. Why are we whispering? Um, Natalie's fast asleep. Um, weren't you just talking to her? Uh, yeah, uh, she was snoring. It was making me crazy. Uh, huh? Well, looks like she stopped. I can barely hear her breathing. Uh, uh, well... It must have registered somewhere in her subconscious. Bless her little heart. Is she feeling okay? Uh, physically, yes. Emotionally, you know, she had a big fight with Jared. Really? I thought they were doing great. I, they, they were, you know, but Natalie, you know, hard as she tries, she, every time she looks at me, she just feels guilty. Oh. I can't imagine what you're going through, Jessica, and especially with a baby on the way. Well, Nash was the love of my life, and I will love him till the day I die. But, um, life goes on. Let's, uh, talk outside so we don't wake Natalie, though, okay? You know, I think we should wake her up. What? Why? But look at her. The way she's sleeping all scrunched up like that. I mean... Girl's gonna have to hit up the chiropractor tomorrow if she doesn't get to a bed. Okay, the only way out is through that door. But the only one who can open that door is Tess, the pod person. Oh. Vicky, why did you choose now to go away? Oh, sweetie, are you trying to cheer your mommy up? Oh, you're so sweet. Come here. Come here, right here. But you know what? I, I don't really feel like watching TV right now. But 
fine, fine. Pushy little canine. Oh my God, it's Natalie. Ah, it's Sarah. still has a way with a headline. I'll have to remember to pay him back in kind. I uh, also have to congratulate Natalia and her friends on the execution of their most uh, creative and audacious plan. It went with but one hitch. They should have made certain I was dead before they went back to their empty little lives. Fatal miscalculation. Unfortunate for you uh, that I am uh, and neither impulsive, sadistic, or evil. Because if I were any or all of those things. I have you like what I want to. Shane Marasco, you will not speak to Rex that way. Do you understand me? me? And you will apologize to him right now, and then you will go upstairs to your room. Why should I say I'm sorry? He's the one who hit Dad. He's the one that's trying to ruin everything. Shane, listen to your mom. I'm not apologizing or leaving. I live here. If anyone has to go, it should be him. Look, look, what I said before, Shane, I, I did not mean to upset you. I don't you. care what just, you I... meant. I'm not a baby. I know what's going on. You do not know, Shane. You just want to be with my mom, and you'll say anything to break her and Dad up. Shane, if you could just hear me out. No! We... You had your chance, and you blew it. My mom stood up and told you that she loved you, but you went on and married ugly Anna anyway. Shane! Go back to her. Leave me and my mom and my dad alone! Is it okay if I ask you what's on your mind? You said anything was on my mind. You are not that unreadable detective. Really? Mm-hmm. And here I thought I was. Not to me. I'm impressed. <laughs> You know what a relief it is to be able to, like, rip on somebody without them coming back, being mean and defensive? You know, that's nice to be with someone that's not always asking about feelings and all that stuff. Although, sometimes that's okay. Okay. This, um, particular brooding look you got going, I have to say, is, uh, mighty sexy. Just trying to figure it out. Huh. Is it um, work or family? This one? Mm -hmm. Work. Well, you gave me a hint. Must be your lucky day. Well, it must be. It's that case, isn't it? The one that you said that you were going to drop, you didn't, did you? I was sorry because I thought maybe I was just going too fast. Are you as careful with all your women? <laughs> all my women? No, just you. Uh huh. Why is that? Because of our history. I have no history. I mean, other than what you've told me. And according to you, I'm the one who started all the problems, right? I mean, I know you were there. And I. That doesn't make it your fault. But I'm not. I'm not some great guy or anything. I shouldn't have kissed you just now. A lot of shouldn't haves in my life. But are you still that same person? All that matters is who you are now. Do you think we could start over? <laughs> 